I'm just standing above Warren's shaft. That's a place where Captain Charles Warren in 1867 climbed up with his assistant and up to here and then discovered this tunnel. He came from the spring, from the water, up this shaft and Charles Warren, uh, an army officer, a young army officer, it was sent in 1867 to Jerusalem by the Palestine Exploration Fund. This was a society of gentlemen, they just, uh, which was just founded a year or two earlier, and uh, to investigate the Holy Land. They didn't do it by themselves, they sent young army people. He was a, he was a captain and uh, belonged to the, to the Corps of Engineers, Army Engineers, and we, we know today exactly the right man in the right place. So he was curious enough to climb this shaft. He needed for this a ladder or a scaffolding which he prepared here and then found it and uh, uh, actually also uh, explained it or provided an explanation which survived uh, almost 140 years until me and my partner came here, namely that people came down from the city with their empty buckets in the tunnel and here dropped their uh, empty buckets and drew water back to town with the full uh, containers full of water. Uh, when we reached here, um, about 15 years ago, due to the excavations which we created, which we carried out just nearby, we started to really to go into the details of this place and found a few, how should I say, discrepancies in this theory and uh, uh, tried to learn it and actually came up with a new explanation, totally different. Uh, uh, of how this system operated. Uh, when I started here to investigate the place, uh, we found several unanswered questions. For example, why this excessive height of a tunnel? Too much uh, for such a tunnel, where as its beginning there is in a normal height. We had the ceiling just above my head. This is much too much. Another important thing is in the shaft itself. It is a natural uh, cavity in the rock which has several prominences of rock coming out. And it is strange that people in ancient time didn't uh, straighten it so that the buckets full of water will not hang on their way up and cling to these uh, prominences of rock and lose their waters. Couldn't they do it if they have cut such a huge uh, tunnel. Another thing is the bottom of the shaft. It's not uh, uh, deep enough and uh, usually a bucket will, will bang on the, on the rock down there when it is thrown down and it will be difficult to immerse it into the water in order to draw water. These are technical things but this is what matters here. People wanted water. So we realized finally that actually originally the tunnel was not cut in one go to this excessive height, but that this was its floor. And for this, we have to look at the geology of the place, which is divided very clearly into two levels or two strata of rock. The lower one, which is a very hard rock and very uh, compact, on, on top of which I am standing now. And above it is actually a very soft and brittle rock, which when I do like this, uh, crumbles in my hand. So we realize that originally, the original tunnel was cut only in the soft rock, in this, in this layer of rock, and that the hard rock was their floor. And you can see the line all along the tunnel that we have descended. If this is the case, then the shaft down there did not surface. I'm standing just above the shaft. 
but it didn't surface up to here as a cavity. And people, when they went over here, didn't know that just a meter below their feet, there is actually an approach to the water, a natural cavity which reaches to the water. They didn't know it. The entire installation, the upper part, the original tunnel was cut in the Middle Bronze Age too, which is about 1800, 1700 BC. Much later, about a thousand years later, in the 8th century BC, somebody has deepened it for some unknown reason. We have found just around the corner the place where people drew water, which is a much larger shaft which leads down to the water, which is, was not known to Charles Warren and which was discovered just uh, 10 years ago or so. This is an, an, an unfinished thing. Somebody has deepened it gradually, uh, all the time deeper and deeper, and stopped here about two meters or so after uh, uh, discovering uh, the, shaft. the shaft here. What was planned, this stopped here, this reached no place. What was planned here, uh, it's hard to tell. Probably, and this was done a thousand years later, in the late Iron Age, somebody probably tried to reach the spring in a different way, in a different approach. But this was stopped um, on unfinished uh, projects. We can hardly say anything because there are many other possibilities where he wanted to lead this deepening. Who knows?